Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. We're working on a photo today where the person would like to add another person to the image. So what we're going to show is how to take this person and put them with these two people. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and get the bell on for notifications of upcoming videos. Uh, the likes really help the algorithm to push teaching this to other people and it'd be greatly appreciated if you could like the videos. So, let's get on with the show. Okay, we're back. Have the new Mexico camera going. There was a great deal of headaches to get it working. Uh, it's... It's a little bit uh, blurry in comparison to the uh, Kmart uh, camera, but the colours are a lot better, and I don't have the problem with green screen disappearing when I put my hands into it. Uh, so, first off, we want to open up the photo of the um, single person that wants to be added to the group, and we want to open it up in Lumi. Now, you can see a list of the apps running down the side there, uh, so you can look for those in the Android store or in the iOS store. Um, most of the apps are available on both devices. Uh, I myself run Android. So... Okay. Once we have that image open, we just simply go through to the background removal tool. Replace background. It's going to remove the background. We're not going to put one in with this app. We're just going to save it from there. So we save that. Once that's done, we can either exit. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to do something which is a little bit different. I'm going to open up the photo where the person wants to be added into. And I'm going to remove the background on these people. We'll see why, this is a little bit of a uh, cheeky trick. So we're going to save that. I'm going to swipe this off. Now I'm going to open it up in Pixay Pro. Uh, it's actually a great app. Um, there is a free version of just Pixay. Um, pretty sure it's got most of the features in it. Um, I think it's got this feature in it. I'm not too sure. But the Pro version is very cheap uh, also. So we're just going to go in. We're going to get the photo. And we want to get the photo of the, um, the main photo that the person wants to be added to. So we open that up. And then it's as easy as going to insert picture. We want to open up the single person by themselves. We press OK. Now we just need to work out the uh, size of it. It seems to be about the right size. Find a place to put it. If I put it over here, there's the hand, and I'd have to uh, go through and manually do that. So in this case, just for it to be quick and easy, we're going to go through and put it on this side of the image. We need to work out a size of it. Um, so say about there looks great with the uh, headline and brings it in with the rest of the photo. So we'll apply that. And the reason we did the other photo is now we can go through and we can manually erase and find that arm line. Or we can go cheeky, quick and easy, insert picture again. This time we select this photo, press OK, automatically overlays it on top. This way we get crisp, clean lines coming down here. Now from there, obviously there's no legs, it's not a picture of this person sitting. So we're just going to go through to the adjustment. We're going to go crop and straighten. We're going to choose the 4x5, which is a common print size that people do. We'll adjust it down and keep a little bit of hand in. We'll work that out. Bring that up top. I don't know. We'll bring that out. Just frame them in. Done. It's quick and easy. Uh, from there, we'll go through and we'll uh, use Remy to actually clean up the faces and uh, do that but she's looking up her face isn't quite in the same alignment as the other people so can we fix that yes we can so i'll show you how to do that okay so we've saved our photo 
Now we're going to go into Airbrush, uh, which is a fantastic tool. I believe it's 14 AU to uh, buy. Uh, I recommend buying it. I'm not too sure what features the free version has. So I'm going to show you why it's a great app to have. It's one that I use to do um, skin tones a lot. So we're just going to go into library and we're going to open up the photo that we uh, just saved. We have our photo open. Now what we're going to come down to is sculpt. And we're going to click that. We're going to select the image of that lady's face. We're just going to zoom in so we can see it more. And straight at the bottom there, we see 3D reshape. Now what that's doing is it's quickly going through and it's applying dots and then it's doing lines to create triangles that are vectors and it is mapping out the face creating a 3d image on the face with the, um, the texture the image overlaid on top now what that allows is it allows us to change the face's position so just by sliding these, we can adjust the way that face is actually looking. So we can apply it. We can go back in. We can redo it. We can look at our image. Now she's looking straight. Now, the person with the camera would be directly in front of the male in the center of the image. So we're going to bring her over a little bit more and just make it look like she is engaging with the photo now you can see it's starting to distort so we have to be very slight on it because we don't want the photo to look incorrect and we'll bring her down just a little bit more for that engagement and that's done and now she's actually looking at the um the camera we can come through if we feel that uh, the face is incorrect on the shaping we can actually adjust the width of the face and we can say just that left side, because when we move that image over, it's obviously pulled out that cheek line. So if we go the left side of the image, we can adjust that down like that, which brings the image back into the correct perspective. Okay, so now what we want to do is just quickly fix up the image. So anything that needs adjusting on it, now that we have our image completed, that's what we'll do. So I'm just going to go into Photo AI, and we're going to use that instead of Remy. And I'm going to use the AI Face Retouch. I'm going to select my photo. It's opening up my gallery. Select the photo that I want to do. Start uploading and say watch ad. Wait a moment and we'll just wait now until it's uh, finished and it uh, should go through and adjust our face to where we need it to be and get it nice and clean. And from there we can open it up in uh, other programs and you can redo some clothing if you need to or you know if you want to change that background completely. So we now have our completed image. So all the faces are beautiful and crisp. We will save that. Here we go. Save our image. Now that the image is saved, we are complete. So we'll open that up and just take a quick look at that. So this is our completed image now. And we can see that we have all of them in there. We have that face alignment. So it's brought it into line where she's looking at the camera too. And that's a quick and easy thing that you can do right on your smartphone to if an image was done or two separate images were done and you want to bring that group together that's a quick and easy method to do it and it was one that i was asked on um you should show how this is done so here it is and thank you for asking for um this to be shown i think it's a great idea to show people how to do this and it will certainly help a lot of editors out there, I believe. So thank you for requesting that. And I will see you in the next Stream Tabulous video. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and get the bell on. Especially like the videos. It helps my algorithm push it out to teach more people. And of course, also don't forget to join our Facebook group where you can post images to have them restored 
or worked on and even learn how to do it, uh, which is what I'm pushing for, is teaching how to do restoration to get more people to understand that it is quick and easy to do. And you can do it on a, uh, a smartphone and it doesn't have to be a fancy smartphone. Mine's a smartphone from 2016. Uh, um, you don't need a fancy computer with Adobe Photoshop or Paint Shop Pro or anything like that. You can do it straight from your phone and you can get as good results and uh, in some cases, better results than what you can get using a PC. So like, subscribe, get the bell on, and I will see you in the next Streamtabulous video.